Uh, it's now my privilege to uh, invite to the podium three individuals who will collectively welcome the 400 plus of you uh, to this Wounds Care Canada conference. Uh, they are President of Wounds Canada, Dr. Morty Eisenberg, who is a wound consultant in the Division of Sunnybrook Hospital at the University of Toronto. As many of you will know, Dr. Eisenberg is an internationally uh, renowned uh, physician and has presented across the world, including particular leadership uh, recently in the Middle East. Uh, Dr. Robin Evans is the co-chair of the Wounds Canada Conference, uh, this Wounds Cares Canada Conference. Uh, she's the medical director of the Wound Healing Clinic at the Women's College Hospital at the University of Toronto, as well in many, many roles, uh, also serves as the co-chair of the foot section of Diabetes Canada. As well, we uh, invite Rose Rosemary Hill, who's hailing all the way from Vancouver, who brings uh, almost 40 years of experience, uh, US trained, internationally also renowned, and like all of you, has a deep interest and an abiding interest in wound and osteotomy care. Uh, so with that, so you're in good hands, and I'd now respectfully invite Drs. Morty Eisenberg, Robin Evans, and Rosemary Hill to the podium. Good morning. That's a hard act to follow. If I could all uh, ask all of you to stand for uh, the territorial acknowledgement and national anthem. Wounds Canada acknowledges the land on which we gather is the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Attawandarock neutral peoples. This territory is covered by the Upper Canada Treaties and is within the land protected by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Agreement. Today this gathering place is home to many First Nations, Métis and Inuit peoples, and acknowledging reminds us that our great standard of living is directly related to the resources and friendship of Indigenous peoples. <laughs> So it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, the 2019 Wounds Canada Fall Conference. The theme this year is driving change in wound care. And this year has been pivotal as we watched media outlets across Canada reflect, reflect public concern about prevalence, prevention, and treatment of pressure injuries. Unfortunately, it took a couple of tragic cases of patients succumbing to pressure injury complications to raise public awareness and to help drive change. It's my belief that it will be public opinion that finally pushes governments and hospital administrations to make the prevention of pressure injuries a priority. This is why Wounds Canada has always valued the importance of public awareness and has endeavored to raise the profile of wound issues in Canada. I want to thank the Wounds Canada team for putting together this exciting program. We frequently don't have the opportunity to network with colleagues from across Canada, 
And I think you'll find that geographic location does not change the challenges we all face in wound care. So make new friends and enjoy this conference. Our conference chairs, as previously mentioned, is Robin Evans and Rosemary Hill. And you've already met our MC, Dr. Shafi Kadri. Hi again. Um, I'm seeing many familiar faces from yesterday, and uh, it was such an exciting day yesterday. There was such a wide variety, and uh, and I think that's what conference is about, um, and uh, lots of sharing and getting new ideas. Um, so welcome again today. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking about all those new ideas from yesterday. So there's a few things, just as I mentioned uh, yesterday. I, I Try and hang on to that, your name badge, and wear that all the time. Um, and your cell phones, um, especially after your, the break, remember just to switch it off, but currently to turn it off now, that would be wonderful. And the Wi-Fi is free. So, um, and of course, there's the app. Hopefully most of you have had a chance to download the app and then log in, and uh, that's been really helpful. Um, it's helpful for your scheduling. Uh, later on, it's gonna be really helpful when it comes to completing your evaluations as well. Also, um, I really would like to encourage you to uh, visit the uh, digital poster displays. Uh, there was a few people who mentioned their posters uh, yesterday, and so you'll be able to gain more information if you go to that area. The washrooms are right to the right, as well as the fire exits. Um, now, you can opt out of photography or video. Um, just mention it to one of the, gir the girls at the front if you're not too, uh, too keen on having that photo taken. So there's a, the folks at the registration desk will help you out there. You know, I am um, actually last night, I got bold and crazy and I even tweeted. So I'm going to encourage you all to follow us uh, and post about us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and, uh, and wait a minute, here's the tease, there will be prizes will be awarded to our top uh, tweeters. So uh, get going on that whole tweet thing. I had a young uh, millennial person, of course, uh, show me how to do it, and so there you go. Uh, the exhibits, and that's always, that's the time where you really want to capitalize on gaining more information about certain products, practices, and what's, what is some of their new research? So I want you to visit our industry partners, because so much of what's happening right now we couldn't do without their collaboration. So during the exhibit period, just seek out the latest um, information that they have. Talk to the sales reps, ask questions. I don't know about you, but lately my work life, it's so tight and I don't have the ability sometimes to get that nice quality time of just asking questions because there's just so much happening at the hospital. Um, so this is the opportunity. Um, feel free to watch, participate in some of the product demonstrations. I'd like you also, of course, to visit uh, the not-for-profit booths and learn more about their organization. Uh, yesterday, our organization, uh, the nurses specialized in wound ostomy continence, we had the chance to chat with you about our trip to Argentina. And I know Kathy Harley will be there and she'll be able to chat with you more about that, as will many of the other not-for-profit areas. Um, of course, visit the Wounds Canada booth and, yep, there's another prize in there. So, and play the check-in game uh, to win a prize where you, in terms of, uh, and I think that's in their red envelope as far as uh, checking into various places and getting the appropriate number. Aha, more win prizes. I think they had, they, they, you had me do this slide because I'm all about going for prizes. Uh, so the social media top tweeter prize, it will be coming out on the Friday and the Saturday. This is, I have to tell you, top favorite of mine. And it is that competitive spirit I have, but it is wound jeopardy. Uh, and I don't want to boast or anything, but 
I did win once with my team. It's a team thing, and that's what I love about it. I love the Jeopardy game. Uh, then there's Wounds Canada exhibit booth. Uh, there's the Wounds Canada Foundation exhibit booth, and I think we're going to hear more about that. And there's a check-in game awarded Sunday, and there's an app game. So we have got a lot of, if there's gamesters in the room, we have it here for you. All right. Dr. Evans. So in addition to games, there's education. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah I that. About that. So, um, yeah, so you're here to learn, but you might as well get study credits for this. So yeah. we do have that. And as you can see, you get 14 and a half. It's on a, a, a credit basis. So I uh, hope you can uh, get those credits uh, credited to you. And we will send you an email with a certificate at the end of the conference. So evaluations, this is so important and every year um, lots of us are invited to uh, be involved in the curriculum for this conference and it's so much more helpful when we have a lot of feedback. What kind of sessions you like, um, how interactive, would you like cases, um, smaller sessions, bigger sessions, put anything you can think that improves or, or develops your educational programs. We love it and as well as topics. So that's a must. So the conference experience is what you want to make of it. Um, plan your day. I mean, there's so much to attend. I know a lot of people say there's, you know, they want to go to two things or at the same time. That's a hard choice. I get that. The tag team approach, send your friend to one and, and you go to another meet afterwards for coffee. Um, they're interactive and I think Wounds Canada has made a big push to make more interactivity in our conferences. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, many of these sessions that are smaller, some of them are cases, you can contribute, ask questions, and of course that's how you learn. Network uh, through the app and other ways. It's always interesting to meet other people. Know who you can call if you have a problem. Uh, I think we're all here because we want to learn and we want to meet each other and ask questions. Um, the, re the reflection page um, is encouraged. And most importantly, take what you learn back to wherever you live. So the venue is a little, it's not confusing once you've done it. And we were here a couple of years ago. It's all coming back to me actually now down to the root store and all the rest of it on the way here. Um, so the conference venue is mostly here, but then there's the mezzanine area in the hotel. Uh, I think there's fairly good signage. If you can't find it, ask somebody from Wounds Canada wearing a black t-shirt uh, or follow somebody with a name tag. They're probably going where you're going. Uh, okay, so uh, the board is here and they're wearing the black t-shirts. Um, they're usually wearing black or variations of black and uh, they're, they're here to help you. And anybody at the desk also will help out. And their new black t-shirts would say wipe out wounds t-shirts are attractive. I think they're gonna be available for sale at their booth. So if you, if you wanna wear one of the trendy outfits. Okay, so um, the, last, uh, the last thing is about Wounds Canada and uh, they've got a new um, uh, foundation and I ask you to go to their, their their booth and learn more about the foundation visit any of their uh, their booths and attend number session 45 on Saturday to uh, learn a little bit more about Wounds Canada does and their professional development because they have a lot of different sessions developed they have the Institute and there's lots of different learning uh, venues that are available through internet web websites and such so we have a video Wounds Canada's latest addition to the wound care community is the Wounds Canada Foundation. The Foundation is a charitable organization focused on raising awareness about wounds and providing financial support for patient-driven programs, research, and scholarships for health care providers. Our vision is to be the go-to charity for funding wound-related activities and be the leader in supporting public awareness for all wounds. Visit WoundsCanadaFoundation.ca for more information and to donate today. Together, now we can make a difference to wipe out wounds. Okay, so um, this is the final slide and I, I'm hoping that you'll be able to meet people, reflect on what you learn. I think one of the most important things about conference is even developing confidence that what you're doing is actually correct. Talking to your colleagues about this. Celebrate your success, know what you're doing, 
um, meet different people, I hope, and mark this date next year. It's so nice to see everybody here. We've got a good group, and I'm hoping for a, a fun conference. And I do head up the Jeopardy, and hopefully I, I'll see everybody there later today and have some fun, get a team, six or eight people, and it'll be in this room, and we're hoping to have a great time. Remember, some of them are hard, some of them are easy. Don't get offended. It's meant to be a bit, bit of a challenge. Thanks, everybody. Thank you very much to, to my colleagues, uh, Marty, Robin, and Rosemary. I, of course, will uh, support and echo their words about the gamification of education, whether it's on social media, visiting the website, uh, Wounds Canada Foundation. Uh, and, of course, I'd also just like to echo uh, do visit the website woundscanadainstitute.ca. There are a number of uh, educational opportunities that you folks can access. Uh, we don't want this, of course, to be just a one-of conference. We'd like to create an ongoing therapeutic uh, relationship so that together, as we're imparting this information, learning from you, helping to kind of codify, systematize all this information and these best practices we can affect wound care across this country and even beyond.